Hi, Greg. Hey, Tim, what's wrong? I really want to study the brain, but the equipment's just too expensive. How much did it cost you? I'm getting cost estimates of thirty to forty thousand dollars to do my recording. Tim, you can't afford that. I can't afford that as a scientist. Hey! What? Have you tried this? What is that? It's the spiker box, Tim. But how does it work? Well, do you ever happen to have a cockroach on you? By coincidence, I do. We have two American cockroaches right here. So all we have to do, you remove one of the legs, uh huh, and you place it on the spiker box. And then what? Just stick it and forget it. Stick it and forget it? But how do I know you're not just saying you're going to build this? Well, Tim, let me show you. This actually is a functioning prototype. Come on, let's listen. Sounds like spike to me, but maybe it's just noise. Well, this, Tim, is a way to find out, because these are special neurons that we're recording from. These are sensory neurons that are trying to detect wind on their little wind receptors on the, on the cockroach leg. So you're th saying that if maybe I blow on it, I can hear evoke discharge of neurons. That is a great experiment. Let's see. What did you notice? I noticed when I blew on the leg, the rate of electrical discharge increased. Tim, this is a, something known as rate coding. Rate coding? We just discovered rate coding? And how much did it cost us? Tim, the spiker box is less than $100. What? Less than $100? This should be in high schools around the country. Well, sadly enough, I can't. This is just a one-off prototype. What's preventing you from making many more of them and putting them in the secondary schools? Well, I would need about $20,000 in order to build this up into a product that we could actually sell. If there was only some grant funding agency that would allow us to give us the seed money to build our first production runs. Maybe the NCIIA. That's a good idea. Imagine a nation of youth doing experiments at, in high school that you can only do in graduate school. Wouldn't that make the world a better place and make better scientists and engineers? Tim, it will make the world a lot better place. And not only can you just listen to neurons like we're doing right now, we can plug it into our computers and record the actual neural activity, something that costs about $50,000 right now. Wow, we can do for $100 what previously cost $50,000. Think of the changes.